As family, friends, and fans grieve the loss of country music star Toby Keith, his death is focusing attention on a cancer we don't really talk very much about, and that's stomach cancer. And that's partially because in people at normal risk, there's no recommended routine screening for this type of cancer, but that's also part of the problem. The cancer that silenced Toby Keith at just 62 is less common than many in the U.S. It's about 26,000 or so diagnoses per year, about 10,000 or so deaths. Because of that, there's no routine screening recommended by any major health organization for those at average risk for the disease. The American Cancer Society says early stage stomach cancer rarely causes symptoms, so it's most often discovered after it's grown larger or spread outside the stomach. Signs and symptoms can include poor appetite, unexplained weight loss, stomach pain or discomfort, feeling full after a small meal, and heartburn or indigestion. See a doctor if these symptoms don't go away or worsen. What is one of the most common causes of stomach cancer, what people don't realize, is actually an, an infection, a chronic infection from something we call Heliobacter pylori or H. pylori, which leads to sort of a, a low chronic gastritis. Research is looking into more effective ways to treat that infection to lower the chances of developing stomach cancer. As with other cancers, you can reduce your risk by having a healthy body weight and diet, staying active, not smoking, and avoiding or limiting alcohol. But some risk factors like family or personal health history can't be avoided. So in that case... You should really talk to your physician about whether screening makes sense for you at an earlier stage. The American Cancer Society says there are various tests to detect stomach cancer, but an upper endoscopy is often most used. That allows doctors to see inside the esophagus and stomach using a thin, flexible tube and camera.